Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marian and I'm your host today and I'm covering with you today some major updates from Giga Berlin because I do have footage and a lot of pictures from the event yesterday and I will go through that with you. And if you're new to my channel, uh, my um, home country is Germany so I'm able to give you some really inside pictures here. Of course there were some YouTubers from the States um, and other countries as well on the site but um, I was able to catch some um, people that I do know um, that were able to get some pictures from inside the factory and we will just start and look through those pictures and videos and I will comment on that and explain you what happened yesterday here in Germany. So for the first part, everything that you see combined, it um, from the imp impression that we have is that there's like around 40% done inside. So we see that everything is pretty much um, established. Of course, there will be more production lines in the future, but there's a lot of material, a lot of machines already installed and we will look into the robots later on. Um, furthermore, we do know that um, Tesla CEO Elon Musk was yesterday there. He was holding a speech and an event and there were a lot of families, kids and people were testing the Model Y and based on the first reactions, there were also a lot of people out there that have, um, yeah, had never entered a Model Y or Model 3 and that were really impressed. So the event was pretty successful, to be honest with you. Um, I was mentioning before that there were around 1.6 6 million um, reservations. This seemed to be just a rumor. At the end of the day, there were around 60, 70,000 reservations. That's what information I got from somebody working at Grünheide. Um, furthermore, just on the side for everyone um, waiting for the earnings call, Tesla will report earnings on the 20th of October. And of course, there will be more discussions maybe um, regarding the um, start of the Austin factory or Grünheide. What I know from somebody who is a viewer on my German channel is that um, inside the factory, there were um, employees saying that we are pretty much ready to go. We can start produce cars with what is installed right now. The question is just when, when is the final permission coming? Here you have a test drive in the Model Y, which is not, nothing that we have never seen before. But again, it is on the side here in Grünheide. Um, there were so many people trying to get a um, try on the Model Y that sometimes between noon and um, early afternoon, people had to wait like an hour to get into one of the Model Ys. So it was a pretty exciting um, experience for a lot of people out there that have never had the experience to drive with the Model Y. And you have to consider that Germans, um, because it was mostly Germans, are very supportive when it comes to their own brand and um, supporting BMW, Audi, VW, etc. And they are really skeptical when it comes to a brand coming from the United States to Germany because they're really loyal to their own country brands. And so it's really important for Tesla to convince people buying this car by showing them the car, how it works. Here we do have the production line, the final area. Of course, it is everything staged. Then we have as well here more um, areas which were prepared for the show. We do see the machines working in the background, um, of course, not having anything on it. But we do see that pretty much Tesla is able to start working anytime soon if they wanted to. Um, as we know from the um, shareholder meeting, the batteries, um, the new battery cells are ready to be um, delivered to Austin for the, mo uh, for the ramp up. Um, on the other hand, um, the cars here in Germany won't get the new battery cells at the beginning, um, but battery cells that are already capable of delivering um, a really good range when it comes to the Model S. And they will use that one here in the Model Y. So the question is, 
how much batteries Tesla is able to get here um, from the other batteries that will be first installed into the Model Y. Uh, furthermore, there was a lot of discussion about this matrix um, light, a lot of speculation if Tesla is working on that or if that was just a show. Um, please let me know. Maybe you do know something about that from the States. Um, maybe you have more updates about that. Um, furthermore, Tesla is aiming to do for every 45 seconds, they want to produce a full body of a car. And this would be around 500,000 cars. But above that, if they would really manage to do that, we are looking at more like 700,000 cars. And then we are looking inside again here with the robots, um, of course, moving. You need to consider um, maybe for a lot of people in the United States, and I don't mean that um, badly, but you guys are more familiar with the Tesla brand. For us Germans here, having the possibility to go in such a um, factory here is a unique situation. Um, we do see that there's a lot of stuff already installed and that is what I'm really impressed about. And remember, that's what I said many, many times on my channel here. Um, maybe some people wouldn't believe me, but I always said to you guys, wait, wait, wait. Even if the final permission is not done yet and they are waiting for that in this month, um, there were so many pre um, certifications to go forward and once the building was done it looked like Tesla would not do anything but inside they did a lot of work and they can ramp up production much faster now because there's not just one production line ready. Talking about production in Austin just uh, telling you at the end here um, we have first footages already from the tri production working pretty well um, Elon being inside the factory um, and looks like the production, the first pre-production cars are already done. Um, so this is the final stage before we could see, um, yeah, some really nice production happening and starting. Maybe by November, um, Tesla is ready to go in Austin. If we get the final permission here in um, uh, Giga Berlin by around about, yeah, well, let's say end of October, Tesla has already permission to do tri production. They might do that after this event. So we could see in December some cars rolling out here from this factory. So I hope you did enjoy my video today with some exclusive pictures here. And I'm really, really thankful to, for Patrick who was providing me with those um, from my German channel. And so thank you very much for being here. And I hope to see you back all very soon and hopefully back tomorrow with some more exciting news on my channel. So I wish you all a wonderful Sunday. Take care. Thank you very much for being here. Bye bye.